toe or week on um, and I guess an update on my resolutions good place to start I'm sort of eating less and sort of eating more healthy which is good um, I have watched a lot more movies uh, including you know crap like uh, Star Wars Clone Wars I watched it today just because I fancied watching it and finding it um, and it's currently got me on watching Attack of Attack on Titan, which is fantastic, just mind blowing anime. I kind of need. I've always liked kind of Studio Ghibli stuff, and I've enjoyed a, a few kind of things in that vein. But I've never really got into anime, so I'm enjoying that and watching that, and might watch a few more. Fantastic website and watching that on. Uh, what else we got? More swimming. I failed abysmally. <laughs> I just haven't gotten up to the. Um, the motivation to go for a swim by myself uh, at a random time of the day. So it's kind of, well, I'm not going to go very early, and then I kind of get up moderately late, so I'm not going to be like, all right, I'm going to get up, get dressed, oh, wait, now I'm going to go for a swim, and then come back. And then when it comes to around 4 or 5 o'clock, which is usually kind of free time, the local pool, um, everyone's home, and it's kind of, right, I can't, be like, oh yeah, hi, how you doing, how was work? Yeah, I'm going off for a swim, I'll be back when tea's ready. It's just not going to work. So that's failing visually. I haven't taken any photographs, but I haven't made an active effort. So that I think that'll come later on once the weather's a bit less bleak and I've got a bit more things to do. But the important, the important one is finding work. And um, I mentioned last time there's a few kind of friends who've gotten in touch and hints and things. I've got an interview tomorrow. I have to get up at the crack of dawn um, to go away to Newcastle for some temporary work. Well, it's work helping out an office that needs an extra pair of hands. I don't know if that's temporary work. I don't know if that's short term. I don't know if that's let's see what we can do. We might go to practice. But I guess I'll find all that out tomorrow. But it's in Newcastle. And it's. I'm umming and so much about this because it's. Well, I didn't want to go back. I didn't want to work in Newcastle. I didn't want to stay in Newcastle. I had nothing to keep me there. And I figured if I'm going to move, you know, if I'm going to set up again in another city, I want it to be London. You know, I want to move and work in London at some stage. It was big and scary and I, you know, didn't necessarily like the prospect of living there. But the more and more I go back, the more and more I enjoy it, the more and more I see that the work's all there. So I want to go to London, which is why I exclusively looked in London, I didn't look in Newcastle, didn't look in Manchester, didn't even really look locally, I've always looked in London. Um, and this has come up and it's another interview, and it's potentially short term, which is good, and it's experience and it's work, and it's something I think I'm going to have to do, well not have to do, it's something I want to do, I want to get experience and work, you know, it's, but it's, how long do I want to stay in Newcastle? The guy who's given me the job, or not giving me the job, who got in touch, is a guy from the above, who, f from what I understand, and this could be hearsay and rumour, you know, he wanted to go to London, wanted, you know, very talented guy, very specific guy, very kind of cleared up in his design. Um, he wanted to go to London, work in London, work in a decent firm. That didn't happen. I don't know why that didn't happen. And he ended up kind of just taking a job in Newcastle um, that he didn't think was long term or he was going to enjoy or whatever and he's still there so it's kind of do I risk doing that or I don't know it's, I'm apprehensive about the prospect of going to to London really uh, to Newcastle but you know it might be fine it might not be we'll see I'm holding my breath and seeing what's going to happen Basically, um, still annoyed. I haven't really. I make it sound like it's someone else's fault. I haven't really done my portfolio, a new one. Um, but it's just me. I, I've, what, about half, maybe two thirds done. No, maybe less than two thirds. Let's say three eighths done of a new portfolio. Um, and it's just I had a bit of a, a stint at one point, and then I, I stopped, and I haven't got back into it and it's and I need to do it I feel bad I haven't done it and won't have it printed for a while so 
if this doesn't go well tomorrow, that's that's a new goal for next week. But um, yeah, I've got that. I've got a pain in the ass problem of do I get this job? I've got something arranged in a couple of weeks. I got my ticket booked, and my ticket goes from Liverpool to Leeds rather than Newcastle to Leeds. But I might be able to get that changed or cancelled or whatever because it's it hasn't happened yet. Um, we'll see. Um, but other than that, it's kind of yeah, another week pottering on. Uh, Mum's away for the weekend, so we'll see how the the house survives without her around to tidy up and look after everyone. Um, she does. She works so hard for this house, and my brother is fundamentally lazy. Um, you know, I, I've always described myself as a hard-working, lazy person. I am lazy, in one sense. But there are some things I do. He does nothing. Things like closing cupboards. No. Putting the squash back in the cupboard. No. I'm surprised he closes the fridge door, quite frankly. But, um, and Dad is a slightly more mature, slightly more married and broken in version of him, he's still just as bad. So, yeah, the house hopefully will survive the weekend, but we'll see. Um, and hopefully she will come back to a complete tip. Going to go see 12 Years a Slave this evening. So that's got a lot of Oscar buzz and a lot of hype. So hopefully that'll, that'll be good. Um, yeah, I mean, the Oscars, Oscar list, I think, came out this week. I don't know if I talked about it before, but a lot of stuff, a lot of praise going towards kind of American Hustle, um, 12 Years a Slave, Gravity, I think there's one other, I can't, Wolf Wall Street's getting some stuff. I'll be honest, American Hustle, I think I've already said before, I found a bit slow, a bit dull, fantastically acted, you know, great acting in it. You know, the script is obviously very good for that. But I don't think it deserves best picture. I think it'll be a crying shame if Gravity doesn't sweep some awards. It's hands down best um, visual effects. Hands down. Looking at this, it's kind of that. The Hobbit. Um, I think it's Iron Man 3. Um, and then there might be one or two others. Uh, I'm sure there are big ones I'm forgetting. But hands down, it just did everything different. You know, The Hobbit is great special effects, cool. Um, you know, even, you know, Iron Man, great special effects, looks great. A lot of work gone into it. But I would say it's conventional. It's very good work, but it's there's nothing groundbreaking Gravity for me, the way they shot it, the way it looks, everything blows. You know, it's a new bar for visual effects, and it, yeah, hopefully that'll sweep. Uh, hopefully, Sandra Bullock might get an award for that because holding a film by yourself is difficult. I mean, there's a guy, I forget his name in a film, I don't know the name of, who has apparently um, been snubbed, and he essentially does the same thing on a boat with very little dialogue. Um, but yeah, I just loved Gravity, so hopefully that does well. Um, so yeah, the rest of my afternoon is going to spend prepping the portfolio I've currently got, um, making sure my bag's all packed, making, debating shaving off this stole, I guess I should do. Um, yeah, just let the day pass. I think maybe watch a few more episodes of Attack on Titan. Um, yeah, so hopefully. I'll see you all next week. I'm employed. Um, but yeah. Right. Bye.